Hello everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. We are continuing our series of sketchbook tours like, honestly I tried to stop but I couldn't stay away from filming the sketchbook, okay? So I have quite the series on my channel of sketchbook tours that are really liked by you guys and they perform very well. So without further ado, let's just get into it. This sketchbook is my second year first semester project which was to design a hangar slash workshop for planes. So I first started with the brief reading and really understanding it because I had no clue how I will design this hangar. So then I did some precedents and I did a combination of printed and sketched out ones to really understand them. Then I went to site analysis which I actually filmed and explained and I will have that linked for you in the cards for you to see next. I had a page of inspirations of what my form would look like which is deconstructivism like the works of Daniel Liebskin and Zaha Hadid who are my idols before I did my bubble diagrams, schedule of accommodation and concepts. So I've done three concepts but settled on one with angles because I noticed that the site had a lot of radio buildings that point towards our site as if it was like waiting for a magic show or something. So the main idea was to have separate forms connected together with a course yard that radiates back to these angles. So I've done sketches of how the spaces would look like and how the plan might work. More precedents and research into designing the major spaces such as the workshop, the cafe, classrooms, etc. Which is called brief analysis which I'm very happy to do a video about if you guys are interested. I can walk you through one of my brief analysis. Then, after attempts of crazy plans, two days before stage 1 presentation, I panic and, well, decide to do a very boring plan, I'm afraid, because I had a problem with the workshop being that it needed a specific circulation and the size and my radial idea looked very weird. Anyways, I quite liked the drawings I produced but not the plans, so I went on a journey to find my plan. <laughs> You always sketch out crazy plans as you can see but then something happens before presentation and then your mind goes blank and you end up presenting something really boring yeah that what happened I for some reason I don't go with them I think I get too scared or I don't follow up with them so it was just a process of sketching and reading about the spaces I needed to design before I can actually commit to something yeah relax Russia it's not marriage At this point, I met my friend, Peter Einsman, online, his website, not in real life. I really liked him because I found similarity in his work to my plans and that project was crazy and creative, even though the plans, let's say, look simple at a quick glance, but they aren't really. I took some of his ideas, tried to make them angular, but then... AutoCAD happens and suddenly your design doesn't quite look the same on AutoCAD. I printed those plans out and then sketched over it. Some ideas and then I came to this, which I really loved. It was the combination of interesting, simple design and function, but Cat didn't want to work with me. I then presented these drawings for stage 2 and my lecturers really liked it but to me it was very boxy and needed more work, it was not how I imagined it to be. I continued working on CAD which was kind of a mistake since I wasted so much time on CAD but I did end up learning a lot from it and I used a lot of the plans that I've done but anyway CAD really limits your design so leave that to the end probably if you're happy with your design. 
The problem for me was the workshop since it really needed to be functional and huge. So it was just not working with the other spaces of the hangar. Then I finally had the idea of designing each space of this building as separate forms. But I was like, hello, this is what you originally wanted, you idiot. Anyway, separate forms so that they are easily distinguishable from the exterior. And they point to different parts of the site and are connected with the courtyard, which is what I wanted from the beginning. This is how my site plan ended up after I finished my design. And then this is how CAD plans have developed. I also did some construction sketches for my construction report. And there is also some few loose sketches at the end which I should staple, but I will probably not to be honest. That is all for today's video. Let me know down below what did you think about this sketchbook and my design process. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and share it to your friends if you thought it was helpful. I'm Rasha Shururu and I'll see you next time.